Hey guys, welcome to another video. As you imagine, AF showed her ugly face. So basically, literally a couple hours after my 13 DPO pregnancy test, she showed up. In full force too. It's like my like, like the way my period shows up is just so like bang. It's like out of the blue, just wham, I'm here. And I think I can officially say I have a 12-day luteal phase at this stage. I mean, I'm trying to hold on to a 13-day luteal phase, but it's not working. I mean, the idea of not testing at 13 DPO, like not holding on to that last slither of hope, is just so... I might be weird for saying that, but, well, it's how I feel. <laughs> I... On to cycle number four. I'm, I'm okay, I'm, I'm happy about it in a way like it's a new cycle and you know moving on I'm definitely going to look into maybe some progesterone strips. There are uh, strip tests that test for progesterone at home. I'm definitely going to try and look into those. The only thing with a lot of the things I'm looking into is that they arrive pretty much like in the next cycle. So they're mostly international deliveries and they take time. And I was like, but what if I get pregnant this cycle? But I think what I will do is I will order what I want to order and what I feel I need. And in the event that I do get pregnant and it is a successful cycle, I will simply do a giveaway and give them away to one of you guys. <laughs> so there's a solution to that. So I have showed up a 12 day luteal phase, which is crazy. Cycle number four. Cycle number four. We are on to a new cycle. We are on to the fourth cycle of TTCing. I did tell myself when we decided to start TTCing again, I did tell myself Mama. that, hello, because what, okay, would this even, would this just really? So I did tell myself that because I'm breastfeeding and because of the time it took to conceive Iris, I did tell myself that I would give myself at least a minimum of six months free pass. So I'm not going to stress too much and really overthink it for the first six months of TTCing because I'm breastfeeding, because it takes time. I didn't want to like do too many things, like even the progesterone test strips. I'm contemplating them now because I want to order them and by the time they get here, um, it would actually be a fifth or sixth cycle. That's kind of like planning ahead. And I'm giving myself that free pass of six months. And after that, I guess, I'm not gonna start stressing, or at least I'm gonna not try not to, because I am reminding myself that it did take a year to conceive Iris. And automatically, that kind of gives me, like, it, it takes my expectations down a little bit. Like, I'm kind of expecting it to take about a year. I'm hoping it'll happen sooner. I'm hoping it'll happen at least within the year, a year of trying. I. I honestly don't know what I will do if it takes longer than that, but that's a conversation we will have when we get to that point. For now, I'm just in a place where I know that due to the fact that I'm breastfeeding and breastfeeding quite a bit, Iris is just, she's refusing to stop breastfeeding. I need to actually start like weaning her and that's another thing that we're going to talk about in another video. I do think I need to start working on the weaning process because I don't think the amount of breastfeeding I'm doing is helping when it comes to conception because the 12 day luteal phase is definitely something I think caused by either progesterone or the fact that I'm breastfeeding and my hormones are just still a little bit all over the place uh, because my breastfeeding did cause issues when I was trying to conceive Iris. So this time around I don't know how it's actually impacting my ability to conceive. Yeah, it's just little things to think about and I feel that giving myself that free pass of at least like the first six months to not overthink it and to kind of give myself the time to track my cycle to figure out the fact that I have a 12 day luteal phase for whatever reason. I am allowing myself the first six months to kind of be like, it's okay. Not that it's ever not okay. TTCing is a really, it's a very emotional, very tricky balance. And we all just have to try and do our best, I think, when it comes to handling our emotions. Anyway, I'm trailing on. I'm going on to a new cycle. I am looking forward to a new cycle. I'm looking forward to trying. <laughs> I am looking forward to, um, you know, I might even look up some new ovulation tests. I don't know, some new pregnancy tests for the fun of it. It's like you need to find the fun side of TTCing, and the fun side of TTCing is literally the test. Like, is there anything else? Mario. So yeah, <laughs> I will, yes, I will be doing another video talking about why I test early and all that thing. I know I have promised that before. That is coming because I did get comments asking me about that. 
And generally, I'm going to do a lot more videos, just kind of keeping my mind busy during the two week wait, during the whole process leading up to ovulation. Like, I'm gonna start doing a lot more videos for you guys. I hope you will be here for them because, you yeah, know, and just kind of keep myself busy because I, I love doing YouTube, I love doing like creating videos and stuff for you guys. I love this kind of, you know, like hanging out with my friends basically. And it's the one thing that really keeps my mind busy and keeps my mind off of, you know, the constant like, when am I ovulating? And when this? And when that? And what's my cycle doing? It's just, you know. <laughs> I am going to now go outside and play on our new trampoline with the girls. Well, I'm not going to do trampolining because I probably pee myself, but the girls will. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.